Hi guys, today we're going to see how you can reset a forgotten password in a Windows laptop or PC. Let's say you have a Windows laptop or PC and you've forgotten your admin password, so you're not able to log into your computer. If you're facing this issue, don't worry, we're going to see how you can solve it without much effort. So after watching this video, you can reset your password and log into your computer without losing any data. Now before we begin, keep an 8GB empty pen drive ready and also another laptop or PC to download the necessary software. Okay. I'm Brian from Upstreet Learners and let's get started. Now to reset the password, we are going to do three steps. The first step is to download an ISO file. An ISO file is a temporary copy of the OS which we will be using to reset the password of the laptop. So we are going to download the ISO file on another laptop or PC. So to download the file, just go to the video you're watching right now, click this link and it will take you to this page. So just scroll down and click here to download the ISO file. And now the ISO file will be downloaded to your computer. Once you've downloaded the ISO file, we need to copy the ISO file to the pen drive. To do that, let's go to step two, which is to download a software called Rufus. Rufus is a software for Windows that will help you copy the ISO file to the pen drive. So to download the software, just go to the video you're watching right now. Click this link and it will take you to this page. Now scroll down and click this file. So the software will be downloaded to your laptop or PC. Once you have downloaded Rufus, we can now go to step 3 which is to copy the ISO file to our pen drive. So to do that, open the software and you will get this window. Now insert an empty pen drive into your laptop where you want to copy the ISO file. And your pen drive will be detected automatically. Now to copy the ISO file to our pen drive, let's click select. Select the ISO file that we downloaded and click open. To copy the ISO files to our pen drive, click start. And as you can see, it says the files on our pen drive might be lost when we copy the ISO file. So if you have any important file in your pen drive, make sure you take a backup before copying. So now click OK and the ISO file will be copied to the pen drive. Once you're done, Click close and then remove the pen drive from the laptop. So now we successfully copy the ISO file to the pen drive. Now to reset the password on this laptop, we need to insert our pen drive and then go to the BIOS screen of this laptop. Now the BIOS screen is the place where you will have the option to select your pen drive with the ISO files which will be used to reset the forgotten password. Now each computer model will have a certain key that lets you enter the BIOS screen. To find your key, just click the link below this video and you will get this page. Here you can find the computer type and here you can see the BIOS key for your computer. I am using a Fujitsu laptop, so this F2 is my BIOS key. So once you found the BIOS key, you can continue to reset the password on your laptop. So to do that, first let's insert the pen drive where we have our ISO files. Now you need to go to the BIOS screen. For that, you need to restart the computer. So let's do that. And now while resetting the computer, you need to keep pressing the BIOS key until you see the BIOS screen. So for me, it's F2. Now you can see that we have got the BIOS screen. So this is how our BIOS screen looks like. Your computer BIOS screen might look different. Once you are on the BIOS screen, you need to find an option called Boot or Boot Menu. Now, in most computers, BIOS screen might not support the mouse. So in that case, you need to use the keys mentioned here to navigate. So let's find the Boot option. I'm pressing the arrow key to switch menus and you can see that we have got the boot option here. And also, here we got the boot priority order which has the list of storage devices connected to your computer. And you can also see the pen drive which has our ISO file. Now to access our computer and reset password, we need to make sure our pen drive is first in the list. If your pen drive is not at the first, you can use these instructions to bring it to the first. As you can see that, we already have our pen drive as first boot priority. Now you need to save and exit. So like mentioned here, I am going to press F10 and it will ask you to confirm to save the changes. So let's press enter to confirm and you will be able to access your computer. Now as you can see, our OS looks different. This is only a temporary OS which we can use to reset our password. So once we are done, we will go back to our original OS. Now to reset the password on our Windows laptop, let's go to start. Now search for NT password edit and you will get this option. 
Let's select that. And you will get this window. Now click open. And you can see the accounts you have on your computer. Now select the user for which you need to reset the password. Now to change the password, click change password. And you will get this window. Now enter a new password. Then enter it again. Now click OK. And once you're done, click save changes. So now we successfully changed the password. Now click exit. And then remove the pen drive from your laptop. Now let's see if the password works on your laptop. So let's shut down the computer. Let's switch it on again. Now enter a new password. And you can see that we have logged into our computer. So this means we have successfully reset our password on our Windows computer. So that's it guys. This is how you can reset your forgotten password in Windows. Now if you want to know how to create a partition in Windows, you can watch this video. Or if you want to know how to recover permanently deleted files in Windows 10, you can watch this video. Also make sure to click the subscribe button to see more videos from us. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.